So I want to make a video for my blog post that I put on my website on RyanSaplin.com on my blog, and I want to talk about this idea of learning by doing because everything we do is everything we learn comes from doing it. Anything that I can really remember from last week is something that I actually did. Sometimes when I study something, even when I read something, or when I watch something, you don't really remember. But if you do it, you're going to remember. You have a higher likelihood of remembering. And then let's say you, you know, again, my thing is deadlifting, or one of my new habits or uh, kind of hobbies have been lifting weights and, and deadlifting like lots of weight. One of my goals, and you lift, you know, when you lift 500 pounds for the first time, like like I did like two weeks ago, it's kind of like you think about like some of the mistakes you made or maybe something you could have done better or, or just some thoughts that kind of go through your head. It, it all depends on your kind of in-depth knowledge of what you're doing. But the thing is, as you kind of learn and you get better at what you're doing, your knowledge, your the depth of your knowledge increases. You know, I'm a personal trainer. I've been lifting weights for a fairly long time. Although I've only been doing barbell lifts for a short period of time, I do have a pretty good knowledge. I have very in-depth knowledge of the human body, my body, what works, what doesn't work, as well as kind of what I've seen in the past that happens to myself when it comes to injury and other people. So my knowledge and understanding is fairly deep, for, especially for myself and where I'm at. And for some people that don't have the kind of depth of knowledge I have when it comes to the human body, is you're just going to have to go out there and learn. And even I couldn't even teach you it. You couldn't even learn it, you couldn't even learn it from a video or even from a book. It's you going out there and lifting your weight. It's you going out there and running. It's you going out there and learning how to punch. And then learning, oh, that didn't work too well. Or I could have punched harder if I did this. It's kind of like you make adjustments and you make some setups and then you figure out what works and what doesn't work. And that's kind of the whole idea of what it means to learn by doing. Everything we do when it comes to setting goals, you set a goal, something that you've never accomplished before. Like at the beginning of this year, or 20, yeah, at the beginning of 2013, I set a goal uh, to uh, deadlift 500 pounds. And when I made the goal, it made me cringe. It really did. It made me cringe because... The concept of holding 500 pounds just sounded ridiculous, but I knew it was within my range, or I felt like I did. It was new, I was within my range within the next 12 months. So I'm saying, hey, 12 months is a realistic amount of time for me to really give this a try. So I did. And you never know, you know, it's uh, I accomplished it in October. And just like with many other things that we want to accomplish in our fitness and our health, you just have to go out there and do it. And once you do it, you're going to get more more information of how to make an adjustment. You're going, to be, you're going to find out, like, oh, wow, it sucked. Oh, wow, that hurt my back. Oh, wow, I'm super sore. And then you, you just keep on learning. But you don't learn it from a book. You learn it by doing it, and then you learn some stuff from books and other people, but not without the, not without the concept of knowing what you've already done. hope that makes sense. A little bit of a kind of blabber, but I wanted to add a piece to this, uh, this blog post.